Welcome everyone, GamerCop here. This is episode 42 of my gameplay on Fishing North Atlantic. So uh, what we are going to do today is we're going to try out a new boat. So let's go to the shipyard uh, owned. We have both of these guys in here. We have the Double Trouble and the Hermes. The Double Trouble, I think, oh gosh, I did kind of want to do lobster on it, didn't I? I did talk about that. I was thinking about selling it, but we'll keep it for now. Um, okay, let's go back to available. Uh, we're gonna try out the Fabiki Catherine. We have not used it yet, so we're gonna go ahead and buy that bad boy. Um, if we go into, gosh, that looks, is that the Fabiki Catherine? <laughs> uh, shipyard? Or it's, sorry, owned? Yeah, that thing is a goofy looking little ship. <laughs> that's okay, that's the last, uh, I would say, last ship under a million dollars we have left. I think the next one up is nine million that we still have to try out. So, um, let's go to upgrades on this bad boy. Storage. Oh, that's so much money. Uh, yeah, we need to get it though. Uh, other than that, fishing sonar, we, I always get the best stuff now. I think it just helps out a lot. Um, okay. Gutting. Gutting table. We'll just do one of them, and then freezer. We don't need a freezer. I don't think we need one. Uh, stacking, we can do just one. We'll live with that. Uh, thrusters, the thrusters are so good, but I think we'll try to go without them. Searchlight, stacking, freezer, gusty uh, engine. We're gonna try to keep the standard engine and see how that goes. Okay, we'll try that. 130,000, so we're just over a million into this thing. Um, let's go to crew. We're gonna try to do net. Um, so on board, who do we have? Uh, everyone go rest of the crew house. Um, crew house, who is the best? That you're probably the best, aren't you? But you're the most expensive. Uh, who is the best other than you? At uh, well, actually, we probably need more machine gunning and stacking. Is what we need a good machine seven. Ooh, seven nine. You're not bad, Rudy. Um, five and eight. So Rudy's still the best. Ooh, you're the best so far, Isaac. You could really the stacking queen. Uh, ooh, machine gunning 18, stacking 19. Thomas, there's no way Sadie's gonna beat you on that. Yeah, you're great. Okay, yeah, that's what we basically need at the at, at this time. We're gonna try to run just one. Um, we shouldn't need more for. I was gonna do nets, but <sighs> rigging. Yeah, well, I don't, do I want to pay an extra 10 grand to do nets? Yeah, let's just stick to the long lines. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, let's do that. Um, fishing gear here. Let's go get some fishing gear. Buy long lines. 10,000 hookers. Yes! We can do the 10,000 hook ones. Um, we probably only need to throw out... Let's see what six does for us. That's 60 grand. That's okay, though. Six of those. Um, bait long lines. What season are we in right now? Actually, let's find... Let's find out what that is first. I think it's probably what we should do. What um, time of the year? It is August. So August, let's pull up the cheat sheet here. Um, August to confirm. August looks like haddock, mackerel, pollock, redfish are all good. So let's try to go for some... Well, what's the best for silver hake? We're in silver hake season as well. Silver hake is... Um, let's see here. Silver hake. Do you have a best one? Mackerel. And that's also the best for haddock. So yeah, that'll be a good one. We'll try to bait mackerel. Let's do that. So let's put that away there. Um, fish market, fishing gear, bait. Um, we have crab, krill. There's mackerel right there. Bait all six of them with mackerel. Okay, beautiful. We should be good to go. So we said, uh, let's actually see if there's any uh, tips before we head out here. Here, we'll purchase that. Oh, Silver Hake, that's what we're going for right there. We'll purchase those ones there. Okay. So Silver Hake, where's that Silver Hake tip? Oh, right there. We could go throw out some long lines right out there. Let's uh, fast travel to here just to get us off the, off the coast here. And then map, let's go down to right about there and then we will throw our long lines across that right there, right down. Maybe go out. Maybe that's what we should do. Maybe head out away from it, start in, and then head out so we have some of the deeper stuff in there. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. Okay, start heading down there. And once we get about here, I'll stop it, and then we'll start uh, throwing out long lines that way. And I'll make sure it's close to noon when we start throwing them out so we actually are pulling them in. Well, actually, 1 o'clock is usually good. So we'll get about 1,300 hours, if you will. 
Okay, we're good right there. Um, and I can't see a darn thing. This is not maybe the brightest to go on a ship that you can't see anything on. Um, I don't have any lights turned on. Interior lights, there we go. Can we use that clock right there? Nope, okay, well, let's go. there it is right there. There's the clock we're gonna use. Uh, so we need to skip ahead just to one o'clock in the afternoon. So we'll skip 11 hours. We'll hop back on here. And we'll take a look at everything, don't worry, on the ship. But this thing looks so strange. I like you have the windows down there, though. This is the weirdest looking ship I've ever seen in my life. Uh, you go out there and prepare the gear, my friend. To be able to just start cooking along. Let's get the sonar pulled up here so we start looking at for things. Um, you know, we'll wait till we actually get some fish on here first. Those look like, are those swordfish or those silver hake? I think those, I don't think those are swordfish. I think those are silver hake. Well, we'll just throw a line out. Yeah, at least there's, there's fish down there. So we get this guy thrown out. Um, these guys will take a little bit, but uh, yeah. Um, well, actually, while we're throwing that one out, let's take a look around the ship here. So great cabin up here, great uh, captain's quarters, or however I can, the bridge, that's what it's called. Uh, if we go out here, we can go out around here. Nice setup over here. All the working areas got to be down below in the back. I feel like we're a lot closer to the water. This looks a lot closer than we actually are when we're looking up here, but... Any of those? Oh, that's a trap door there. That goes down a level. Oh, down to the work deck. We'll go back up, though. Does this one go down as well? Nope, just that one. Okay, if we head back up around here, back side of the ship. Do either of these go down? Does this go down? Nope, but we can go up. Oop, maybe. Got stuck there. There we go. We're up to the very top, tippity top of the ship here. Great view from up here, though. I will say that. Let's go ahead and hit back down here. Um, we'll head back down the main way through here. This way down. Yep, there we go. Beautiful. This is cool. <laughs> this is kind of a cool boat. I'm not going to lie. Little storage room in here, looks like. Nice. Oop, I'm stuck in the storage room. Oh, where does that go? Go to the engine room? Oh, well, the engine room's not doing too hot if it's got this stuff going on it, but this is great. I didn't know this was on this ship. This is super cool. I think this has got some of the best interior. I can't go out that way, but still getting down to here is great. That is fantastic. Fantastic detail on that. He's out here doing his job, throwing them out that way. I'm assuming, yeah, you guys pull them in from, from right here, huh? That is kind of cool. That open up, nope. We can go up there. That goes up to here. Yep, okay. We've been that way before. Got our different bins for sorting fish and what have you. Close that down there. We'll head this way. It should go into the quarters here for the crew and whatnot. Now it does say what we have four on board or what we could do. Oh, that goes up to there. There we go. That's kind of nice. Go back down into here. Shower. That's a nice bathroom. Oh, we can go down even further. But uh, yeah, nice quarters through here. That goes. That's where we just went. Okay, let's go down further. We have another locker room down here with some different controls, but uh, yeah, all right. I'm not sure where everyone's sleeping on this boat, but uh, oh, here we go. Well, here's an office at least. Does this go out? Nope, can't go that way. I'm sure I missed something this on this boat though. I feel like I did, but anyhow, not very big quarters actually. I wouldn't be, yeah, unless there's other beds somewhere. I didn't see any beds down there. I guess everyone's sleeping kind of wherever they can find a spot, but uh, anywho, we'll get back around through here. Get back in our captain's chair. How's our line doing? Getting it. We're getting it out there. So, yeah, what I'll do is I'll throw out... Uh, well, what's our storage on this? 88,000? I feel like I shouldn't throw out all of them. We'll throw out two, and we'll see what happens. Worst case scenario, we can go in and sell that, and we can make a second load on this uh, on this, uh, this episode. So that's what we'll do. This will be kind of a good way to make a little extra cash, too, using this guy. Um, I might do some of this off-camera. Maybe we'll even do two loads anyways, regardless of what this brings in. But... Uh, yeah, so I'll go ahead and get these lines thrown out, and I'll bring you guys back in a little bit. All right, everyone, welcome back. We just have to fast forward some time here um, in order to get these guys ready to be pulled in. So it should be around... Let's try 14 and see what happens there. Uh, let's go to the map. Green, okay, 17 hours is green. Let's put... Uh... Hey, that it keeps putting me there. Let's put two more hours on it. That should be blue. 
Yes, 19 hours on that. Okay, let's go ahead and get these guys pulled in. I'm gonna do all the pulling of in of the fish because I don't trust our, I don't trust our guy to do it. But he can do. You get ready to start machine gutting because we'll need to do that. Well, we might have to freeze in order to stack them. I would have thought that we didn't have to. I don't think we have a freezer on board, but I guess we have to go that route. But no worries, we'll get it all figured out. This ship is just a weird looking ship. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness gracious how's it on that it's on that side yeah it's okay it's got to be on that side yep there we go blow down here a little bit so i can pick it up oh pick it in there we go all right come on give us lots of silver hake 13 that's not too bad okay we need to get some perfects though get these guys reeled in good here there we go that's what we need looks like those are both silver hake i think could be wrong Nice. Perfect. Silver Hake is worth more by the pound, I believe, if I remember correctly. That's why I wanted to go for it. Oop, just good on that, but at least we didn't miss it. Perfect. That's the other thing, too. If you're doing longer lines, missing a fish costs you a lot more in fish. But perfect. We're doing really good, actually. I probably shouldn't have said that, though. I probably jinxed it. There we go. Keep it up. In order to fill the boat, all we really need to get is about, what, 44,000 pounds per, per line? Because I think our boat holds 88,000, I think is what it holds. So it doesn't hold a lot, which we could fill it with one of these, honestly. We just got to be careful. I if I remember correctly with us doing long lines and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, the 10,000 long lines or the 10,000 hook long lines do hold a lot of fish. And we're getting a lot of perfects. Let's keep that up. <laughs> there we go. Nice. All right, and what do we get on that? 50,000 pounds of fish, and we got 13, and a lot of it's silver hake, too, which don't weigh as much. Oh, we actually got a lot of haddock. Silver hake, though. We got a decent amount of silver hake, which is great. Okay, well, let's uh, keep going here. Um, let me just... Uh, I think we are going to probably go out for a second trip. Um, I think we probably will get ourselves going that way. Oh, I guess I'm on the wrong side. I should have angled myself more the other side, but we can get it figured out from here. So yeah, we're probably going to end up throwing back a bunch of fish, but that's okay. Two long lines. We could probably even throw out... Uh, we'll probably throw out a couple more lines before we head back into port. So if we could get a couple loads on this episode, that would be great. We could really use the cash, quite honestly. We're trying to get as much cash as possible, which I know buying a boat doesn't seem like we'd be able to do that, but we need to pay this off and make some money on top of it because we want to test all the boats out. So uh, next episode, it's very possible we either go out trawling on a new trawler or we go lobster fishing. Uh, one of the two, to be honest. We need to pay off our loans, actually. That's what we need to really do. But uh, yeah, probably one of those two things is probably going to happen on the next episode. Slow down here. Come on, you can get it. Swing in there. Grab it, grab it, grab it. Beautiful. All right. We don't need hardly any fish on this one. Oh, 14. Of course, it's a better line. <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, let's get the silver hake better. I don't really care too much about this guy here. It's just, uh, I think that's a haddock there. I guess it doesn't matter a whole lot, but uh, yeah, I'd rather get the really good scores on the Silver Hake, which are those ones that flop around like that. I'm intentionally not doing as good on those. Let's get really good on the Silver Hake. Come on now. There we go. Beautiful. Yeah, we're going to be full. <laughs> we're going to be throwing a bunch of fish back. Oh, I didn't even mean to get a perfect on that one. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right. And no can you watch now that I'm doing this and intentionally getting a bunch of goods on here. Uh, it's not going to fill the boat. That'll be just my luck. <laughs> well, at least we're not paying too big of a crew cut. Having one person on board the crew is definitely going to save us some money, even if they have to work extra hard. All right, Silver Hake here. This is one that's going to matter. Come on now. Oh, and that one, of course, I didn't get perfect on. Oh, goodness. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. We're going to be overflowing the boat. 50,000 pounds on a really good run on that. Yeah, we're going to be... How much fish do we have to throw by? 30,000 pounds we have to throw back because we got 37 on board. Oh, my goodness. Um, what did we end up keeping? We probably kept a lot of, most of the haddock, but hey, no, they kept a lot of the silver hake as well. 15,000 pounds of silver hake is not bad, and we still have four long... Let's try to finish these guys out this episode. Um, let's go... 
I bet you I can go down and take care of a couple of things here. Does this go down straight to the crew area? Yeah, here we go. Let's grab one of these. Okay, now this one is baited. Okay, good. This one's baited. Repair. Now it's baited with mackerel. Baited with mackerel. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, we're grabbing... The, I want to make sure we're grabbing the right stuff. Okay. Now I should be able to throw out... Yep, I can throw that out if I want to. Okay, beautiful. Um... Sonar here, let's check out this and see if we can't find a good spot. Now that was really good through there, quite honestly. I might actually, let's do maybe this and head up that way. Kind of set that goal for us there. So I think we have, well, if we throw them out here, I think we'll do really good out here as well. We throw them up this way. Yeah, if we get these guys thrown out, we should be able to head into port and come back out um, in time to get, well, actually, you know what? He's going to take a while to gut all those, which we may not get. Well, actually, he's going really fast. Okay, this is a risk, but we're going to go for it. We're going to go for it. Worst case scenario is we learn. Oh, I probably should have waited for there to be some fish on there, but hey, we'll, we'll just let it work, work its way out. So yeah, I'll get these guys thrown out. Um, I'll bring you guys back in when it's time to go sell our fish and reel in our two long lines. So I'll see you guys here in just a little bit. All right, so we're right here. We're going to sell at Yarmouth. It had the best prices. Everything is good to go. These guys have been out here for nine hours. Everything, and we didn't have to freeze it. We just had to stack it. So we just, I think it's just an extra step that I was doing before that I don't need to do. So we're just going to fast travel into here to sell our first load of fish. Sell our catch. 224000 so not too bad. Can't complain about that. Plus 6% for that. Thomas only costs us four grand, which is nothing with that. So uh, yeah, there we go. Silver Hake is good. Yeah, quantity of all that. Perfect, 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 perfect. Uh, Haddock. Okay, average price, you sells for... Okay, perfect. Sell that? Yes. <laughs> I don't know why it pops that up late now. But uh, we don't need anything else. We just need to go back out. Uh, well, can we fast travel? Yeah, we can fast travel right there. Yes. And then... Actually, we need to check how much gas we got. We got plenty of gas. Perfect. Okay. Um, and also, too, you can get in and out of this screen by hitting uh, the M button. Sorry, I'm giving you guys, like, whiplash there, but... Uh, yeah, so hitting the M button instead of, you can't hit escape to get out like it says down there, but you can hit the M button. So let's get over here. Let's grab these two up, and then hopefully we can probably, I mean, at a minimum, we'll get this done. But I would like to get another load thrown out as well, uh, if we can earn a little bit of cash doing that. All right, let's see here. How long do they, 13 hours, so probably another five hours. We'll see what five hours gives us here. Um, okay, they're 18 now, so probably another, we'll try, oops, sorry, we'll try two more hours here. Um, hopefully that's not too much, but I think that should work out just fine. Blue, all right, yeah, 20 hours, let's go ahead and pull those babies in, and we're going to do it ourselves. We'll get some lights on, though, because it's definitely getting a little bit, uh, or it's definitely not uh, too bright out yet. But yeah, I think we should be able to get a good load off of these as well. Hopefully another, another. I mean, I'm sure we'll get 88,000 off of these two, but then we'll throw out, uh, we, yeah, we should be able to throw out two more than I think, yeah, we'll just get them all done. And the next episode, we'll probably end up in, even selling this boat, but we'll see what happens. We got to take a look at our bank loans here as well before we wrap up. So um, this episode might be a touch longer, but I think that'll be okay. I might end up going out and doing the last uh, round all without you guys in, doing all of it, but uh, ooh, coming in too hot, too hot. Way too hot. Oh, no. Okay. Well, we're slowing down. Get us backed up here. Come on now. <laughs> so slow. It's going forward again, hopefully, theoretically. <laughs> Potentially. <laughs> Come on now. At least the water is nice and calm. I mean, we're in a pretty shallow area, but it's definitely a lot calmer up in here. All right, there we go. We're going to take it easy. We're not going to miss this time. Just going to ease our way into it. I hope this angle is okay. I can slow down quite a bit more there. Nice, grab it. 
Beautiful. Okay. Let's see what we get off of this here real quick. Beautiful. Okay. Beautiful. Let me get perfects on this. This will be fine, I think. Yeah, I'll keep you guys in and we'll sell this load and then I'll make a determination. Actually, I probably... I don't know. Maybe I'll do it off camera, but I think I'll wrap it up after after we get this this guy reeled in. I just think for time's sake for me and episode length, um, I think we might be getting a little bit long anyways with this episode. Just trying to keep it um, at my normal lengths. But uh, yeah, we'll get this stuff reeled in and then I think we'll get it all sold off and call it good. So, but uh, yeah, Thomas is keeping up great. He was able to machine gut all of that stuff and um, he was also able to... What am I trying to say here? He was also able to stack it all um, without getting tired enough that he had to rest in between or anything like that. So he's an absolute machine. I believe it's Thomas we have on board, right? I can't remember now, but I think it's Thomas. I'm pretty sure it's Thomas. I don't know how our next uh, line is going to be, but this line I, I was worried wasn't going to have very many fish on it because I didn't see a lot of fish on the sonar, but I guess it had plenty on it. Beautiful. It would be kind of cool if we filled up the whole boat with this, but I don't think we'll do that. Definitely see us getting it most of the way full, though, unfortunately. So we'll end up probably throwing back quite a few fish. There we go. All right. Yeah, 77,000 pounds. Oh, my goodness. Where's our other line up there? 19 hours? I. Is it even worth pulling it in? I mean, we're going to be throwing out. We're going to be throwing back so much of it. But, yeah, I guess we kind of we don't have too much of a choice, I guess. Oh, yeah, because it's going to be bad otherwise. So, yeah, maybe if we just get a really good lines, we just do one line at a time. Maybe with this guy, at least with the 10,000 hook lines. But, yeah, that's crazy. That's really good. I mean, we run the risk of not getting a good line if we only do one at a time. But at the same time, it's better than I'd rather fill the boat halfway up instead of get it, you know, here most of the way full and then, you know, reel in this one and have this one being just kind of worthless to us. All right, I need to slow down much sooner this time. So I'm going to try to be more ready for that. You'll need to head up a little bit more. I can start turning now. Actually, I probably should start turning. Okay, here we go. Coming into it. Okay, we should be much better lined up this time. We'll give it a little bit more gas, a little bit more juice. All right. Yeah, this is perfect. We did much better this time. Much, much better. All right, I'm focusing. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Oh, if we miss this now, I'd be very upset. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, how many we got on this? This will probably be like 15 or something wild. 12. Okay, well, not as good, but at the same time, we're definitely going to be throwing back uh, some of these guys on here, which is going to be kind of sad. Jeez, yep. I'm sure we probably already filled up the boat by now. Just for those couple of fish there. But it is what it is. If we throw back some fish, it is what it is. At least we got two full loads on this one, which I know this doesn't hold a lot of fish. That's why I might just end up aborting and it might just be more worth it to go out with a bigger boat like our... Uh, our trawling boat and something like that just because those those are actually legit sales they're getting you know one to two million bucks per load of fish you bring in which is great doing good doing good yeah long line hauling actually the long line throwing long lines out i think is actually probably one of the easiest way to catch a lot of fish in this game just gotta have a good boat for it that's why i'm half tempted to get it like one of the big Long line boats again, like the the Moby D. Oh, that was okay. But that's okay. Doesn't matter. Yep, forty two thousand pounds lost. Oh gosh. Well, that one actually wasn't anywhere, anywhere good. But I mean, I wasn't really trying on that one. Um, you need to get to machine gutting, and once you get started on that, how are we doing for fish? Oh, we only got Pollock and Redfish on that whole catch there. Interesting. Well, anyhow, you gotten that? Okay, beautiful. So we'll just get him going here. Let's get. I think. Actually, he machine gets pretty fast. Let's check and see how he did with that. Um, okay, he needs probably 
Find another two hours or maybe three hours. And our three here. Okay, check in on him. Perfect, he's done. And then we can just move him right over to stacking. We'll let him get uh, get over there first. Obviously, I was fast forward in time for no reason. There we go. All right, it shouldn't take him too long to stack. So let's go ahead and we can do that while we head into port. Um, okay, so we have Pollock and Redfish is what we had, right? Fish prices. Uh, Redfish, Pollock, 180, 180, 188, 19. So Lunenburg, ooh, 188 and 2. So Lockport's the best. 186 and 2. I think that was, yeah, 188 and 2. So Lockport. Um, Lockport still 188. Yeah, Lockport still. Dennis, yep. Okay, so Lockport's the best. Um, let's escape out of here. Map. Where is Lockport at? Down here, isn't it? Lockport, yep. Okay. What land were you trying to cross? I have no idea. Okay, <laughs> anyhow. We'll start heading that way. He should have it all stacked up by the time we get uh, anywhere close to that port, which would be great. If he says he's too tired or something, we'll go ahead and stop and see how he's doing. But uh, maybe right around here, we'll check in on him and see if he's done because then we can just fast travel in the rest of the way. And then we'll wrap up the episode there. Yeah, we'll see how he's doing here in just a second. This thing does not go that fast, but <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> okay, let's see how he's doing. Um, done stacking. Beautiful. You go ahead and rest. Map, we can go ahead and clear everything out of there, and we can just fast travel up there to Lockport. And we get this fish off board, get it all sold and done with. Okay. Nope, I guess I just want to do this. There we go. Knock at Lockport. So catch. I wonder if I exit out of this. Yes, there we go. Okay, now it's letting us do that. 237. Hey, that was pretty good. That was a little bit better. He took 4.2, or about the same, anyways. But so catch. Okay, let's take a look at. Our bank loan, oops, bank loans, repay. Oh lordy, we owe 3.3 .3 million on this, and we owe 5.2 on that. So, oof, oof, that's gonna hurt us. 1.7 million is what we got, so we can't pay off any of these yet. But hey, we made some more progress. I think we actually probably let's just go see how we're doing if we sell off our boat here, shipyard uh, owned. Let's just activate. It doesn't matter what we activate. We'll just activate you. And then you, we're going to sell off. Oh, actually, no, no, no. We want to own. Let's activate the Vibiki again. Activate. Since we really need the cash. And we should be able to um, go to fishing gear. Sell long lines. Should be able to sell all six. Well, sell those two, I guess. Unbaited. We have four. Sell for 20 grand. So we got a little bit extra money that way. Um. I don't think you can sell off the upgrades after you pay for them, can you? Or no, not not that. Let's go back to fish sonar. That's one. Yeah, it just install. So never mind. You can't do anything there, which I, makes sense. I' not saying I expect it to do anything, but I figured I'd, <laughs> I'd at least try. Uh, owned. Let's go ahead and again. We'll activate just the double trouble, um, and then we're gonna sell this guy off. So seven hundred sixteen thousand. We definitely made money off it. Um, no big deal there. Um, okay, we're back up. So we started this episode with. What do we have? 1.2 million in the bank, and now we have 2.4 million. So I think that's that's pretty good. That doesn't make sense. Did we make that much money? Oh no, we had 2.1 million, and now we have 2.4. Okay, that makes sense. We made we made profit, but not as much as we maybe would have hoped. But anyhow, okay. So that is everything I have for you guys today. If you guys enjoyed this episode, drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on your screen to join the Gamer Cop channel and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been GamerCop. Thank you guys for coming and watching.